25 years ago this fall, Hillerick and Bradsby made their way back home to the Louisville with the opening of the Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory on West Main Street. WHS 11 was at the museum's opening and a reporter named Ann Jewell covered the story. Fast forward a couple years and she decided to make Slugger her home and that's where she's been for the last two decades. Now she's getting ready to pass the bat on to her successor. But before she does, she's coming back to her WHS 11 roots with us via StreamYard. Hi, Ann. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Okay, let's start from the beginning. What was it like mm -hmm. covering the opening of the museum and factory? That was one of my all time favorite stories uh, that I did. Uh, I was a sports fan already and it was such an exciting uh, uh, development for downtown. And I remember uh, doing a live shot on the, on the night show that evening. And I was standing in front of the big bat, which is made of metal, right, steel. And I wanted to pound on it to, to make that point that, hey, this looks like it's made of wood. But I was afraid the sound wouldn't pick up on the mic. So when I turned around, I like pounded it really hard. And I remember like I, I just went, how? That really hurt. But I, you know, tried to keep the smile on and no one knows I practically broke my knuckles that night. Well, <laughs> and you had no idea too that your life was about to forever mm -mm. change. Like tell us how you got your start with Slugger. Sure thing. So um, when I uh, left WHAS, which was a tough decision in and of itself, I'm in Louisville because of WHAS. And so I have a, a, a love uh, for the station and um, I wanted to stay involved with the community like I had the opportunity to do there. So I went to the Bell of Louisville um, and they had been looking for their first sort of marketing and PR person. And as you know, you know, in the news business, um, a lot of the skills that you got transfer out to a lot of different uh, opportunities and particularly PR marketing. So I got in at the Bell of Louisville for a few years and then uh, Louisville Slugger approached and wondered if I'd be interested in joining uh, them not long after, yeah, they opened here. Uh, so here I am, uh, yeah, 21 years later this June. That is incredible. Okay, what is your favorite memory of working for Slugger? Oh my gosh, you know, it is hard to pick just one. Um, I would say that right, it, 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 there's a lot of sort of small memories of, of what seems small, but just the, the, the people that come, the guests, the looks on their faces, you know, everywhere that you work, no matter where you go, there's good days and bad days, right? But here, we're lucky enough, if we're having a rough day about something, we just need to go walk through the museum and look at our guests' faces and listen in on their reactions and how much this brand and this experience and this visit to our, our city that we love means to people. Um, uh, the way that they light up and connect across generations, those everyday memories uh, that are gonna last a lifetime for folks, those are my favorite things when I get to see those happening uh, right here under our roof. Absolutely. And okay, Anne, what are you going to do now? I hope you're going to take some time off and just chill out a little bit. Oh, you know, that's, I, I appreciate that vibe. Thank you. Um, I really don't know. Um, I, I want to, you know, stay connected with the community. I'm excited to see what my experience and my energy can deliver here. Uh, I love this town. And um, uh, it will be nice to recharge my batteries for a little while. I do look forward to that. But not for too long, I hope. I don't. Uh, I don't want to be uh, out of the mix uh, for too long. I want to keep uh, keep good things going for sure. Absolutely. Okay. Now we're ready for the big reveal. Who is taking your spot? <laughs> oh, I'm so thrilled that this uh, that this is how we planned this. Uh, Dina Lockman is her name. D so I've been here 21 years. Dina's been here 23. Uh, she started out as a tour guide and uh, really you know, showed her chops, her leadership chops early on and has worked her way uh, up. It, she's a critical member of our leadership team, has been for a long time and has really been at the heart of our growth here. Uh, one of the things we're most proud about is how we've grown. Uh, when I arrived here, it was about 180,000 guests a year and it's over 300,000 now, but we've still managed to maintain really high guest ratings. Uh, even with that growth, and that's something that, that I know uh, she is focused on and she's been a big part of it already. She is uh, one of those folks, she's, she's made me a better leader uh, just by being you know, part of our team and uh, the museum, the factory experience here could not be in better hands. That really. is fantastic. Well, congratulations yeah. to you and Dina and thank you so much for talking with me today. My pleasure.
and you can tour the Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory and keep an eye out for Anne until August. Visit sluggermuseum.com for tickets and event information and keep up with them on social media. Just search at Slugger Museum for Facebook and Twitter.